Hi, so this is Heather and we're Facebook Live with Cash and Paige. So um, I, we wanted to show you Cash. He hasn't really got a lot of attention or interest from adopters, so we wanted to um, do a highlight on him so everybody can see how awesome this mixed dog is. Cash is about four years old. We got him from another shelter. Uh, he was very scared and shut down there. His uh, background is that he came from a domestic abuse situation. So um, he does have some stranger danger when first meeting people. So really he um, just barks. Sometimes he barks intensely at people when he first meets. Um, but he uh, is is uh, very food motivated and that really helps him to warm up to people and he kind of knows now when people give him treats that he can he can trust those people so um, he's learned a lot of different different skills now he knows how to sit he knows uh, touch which she just did touch he knows how to give paw <laughs> And um, he knows, we'll see if uh, we can keep the signal here over, over at our tricks, yeah. tricks area. He can do tricks. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you first about Cash is that he does have some hip dysplasia and elbow dysplasia. So uh, he did go to a specialist to be seen. And the specialist did a consult. And, oh, he, go, he usually goes. He does the tunnel through the other, oh, through the him? other hole. <laughs> um, <laughs> he will, he will do it. He just sometimes lacks focus too. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I'll do anything. I'm not sure what you want me to do. Here. Yeah. Go through the tunnel. So, so we learned all this stuff, but anyway, about the, the hip dysplasia. So they, the specialist told us to just keep him on the Dasequin with MSM and fish oil. And I will tell you that that has really helped him. I mean, look how he just jumps up on that platform. Um, he could not do that before. And there were many times that he would just uh, get really achy and limp. And that has not happened for a long time now. So he is just such a happy, sweet boy. He loves to train. He loves to learn. <laughs> yes. Good boy. <sighs> oh, he knows how to jump on the chair, too. Chair. Yes. So, um... Yesterday, we were working with him in the car, and he's not quite jumping in the car himself yet, but I did help him in, and we went for a little ride, and he did well. So, um, I just wanted to show you this really cute boy. He's so cute and sweet, and um, if you are looking for, for a dog, uh, to rescue a very deserving dog, Cash may be one that you can put on your list. He loves butt scratches. You're very handsome. And he's very handsome. He's very handsome. We don't know what kind of mix he is. Um, I'm not even going to try to guess because sometimes when we get DNA tests back, it's nothing what we think they are. So, but he, he does have a very sweet personality once he warms up to you. So he does walk great on leash. And I'm trying to think anything else I can tell you about him. He, uh, there are some, there have been a couple dogs that he gets along with. Um, other dogs he uh, is reactive to. So we haven't quite figured out if there's a trend there or not. But um, he probably would be best as an only dog because the specialist actually told us that he shouldn't be like wrestling and playing with other dogs and 
when he was friends with uh, Miles, who was here, that is when we saw a lot of the limping and stuff because they would heavily wrestle. So if he did go home with another dog, it might just have to be like a calm dog. So, so anyway, that's Cash, and thank you, Paige. <laughs> And um, if you're interested in him, you can reach out to Zach at Zach at dvgrr.org. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.